guys, welcome back. And today we're going over part three, you've been asking for this, of my window treatment series, all about shutters and blinds. Ooh, guys, and today we are gonna look at some window treatments that are so ugly that you'd be better off staring at the sun. So roll up your sleeves and your window treatments and let's get into it. And we're gonna do my little special effect to take off my sunglasses because I just can't be bothered anymore. There we go. Now, first up, do not do this. Mini blinds. Oh my gosh, why don't I like them? How long have we got? Oh my God, number one, they look cheap, always. Number two, they tear up like crazy super easily. Number three, they look like a 90s commercial space, so if you want your home to look like an office from 20 years ago, go for it. Number four, they're impossible to clean. So guys, there's a lot of other great options out there besides mini blinds. Don't worry about that. If you are really dead set on doing blinds for your windows, and that's fine, I like them too, but you, we just have to do them right. Let's look at a couple of good options that you can consider that would be right for your style statement and right for right now and your budget. That's always a something to consider. There's a couple of surefire ways to consider blinds that will not date your windows. Number one, is you want to consider the scale of the slats. That's super important because when you're dealing with regular windows like most of us have in our homes, you're really wanting to probably opt to the two inch wide slat. And that means when you look at them, they have a little bit of depth to them, but they have enough meat there so that they look like something, but they can stack up nice and tight up at the top. Now, if you are in a situation where you have really deep sills or say, I'm going to say overscaled windows, like maybe, you know, seven, eight feet high, you may want to consider going a little bit larger with the slat to two and a half or three inches if you think it'll work in your space, but it's only about the scale story. Now, the second thing you always want to make sure that you consider is kind of the materials that you'd use, because you can see by all of these beautiful pictures that blinds look good and they can look very different to depending upon the materials you use. You can get them in plastics, you can get them in PVC, you can get them in what they call a faux wood. Personally, what I love and I find most versatile for a lot of different style statements is just the simple two inch faux wood mini blind with the string lifters like you see here in this picture. That's a simple, quiet solution that'll give you a lot of flexibility in terms of light variation for your space and it can go with a lot of contemporary and transitional products as well. Now, what if you say to me, but I want my space to look more traditional. Well, there's also that solution as well. Take a look at these beautiful dark wood blinds. Oh my gosh, you can do them in a wood finish that would be appropriate for your space. I love these ones in the room with the deep chair and the wood floor. That's a lovely, more traditional look to things. You can also put them underneath drapery if you'd like. Or how about this detail where they just added a valance over the top. That's a great look as well. So all of those tend to make the statement of blinds look more traditional. Now, if you're into MCM and you want to do something that kind of feels sort of mid-century modern or 50s, here's where you can really take it up five notches. Instead of using the string detail, what you'll do is you'll find wide tape that you can use as the lifter material and what that does is it gives it a very sort of mm, mid-century modern kind of kitschy almost film noir effect you see that a lot done in like the 40s movies about all the pis so that's very definitely a cool look and if you want that for your style statement you can definitely get that with blinds number two of the never do do not do this is 
vertical blinds. Oh my gosh. There's just no other solution except for no, do not do these. <laughs> now, there's a ton of apartments and places out there that have these things already installed. Why? Because they're cheap and easy, but they look it. And so if you've got these and you want to level up your space a little bit, even if you're in a rental, there's an easy solution for these nasty, ugly vertical blinds, which is we're going to do drapery. Now, there's two ways that you can do the drapery. You can do them ceiling mounted, like you see here, which will really help support that. And they move across with a mechanical action, which is great. Or you can simply do a decorative mechanical rod on the wall, and that will help gather that material back and forth easily. Especially if you've got something kind of wide, you're gonna be sure to do something with a mechanical mechanism to it to make it look great. But look how beautiful these look and such a nice solution. And they just look so much better than the vertical blind. So you're done. Number three on the never do list for window treatments, plastic roller shades. Ick. Oh, they are just plain ugly and they're usually not heat resistant. So if you're living in Arizona, forget it. You can't even go there. Now, the deal is this. If you want to do roller shades, which I love as a solution, be sure and see my second video on window treatments, which talks all about these fabulous roller shade treatments that you can get that really look amazing and can really make a style statement for you. So be sure and check out that video. I know it's the middle of the summer and all of you guys are out traveling and everything, but I have to ask one request. Please, if you're watching this video, please subscribe, hit that bell, do all those ringy thingies that you need to do to subscribe because it makes such a difference to my channel and it really means a lot to me too. Moving on, number four do not do list is shutters. Ooh, I can hear all of you screaming right now. Oh my God, I do not like shutters and I am gonna tell you why. Number one, they were huge in the 90s. Half of the tract homes in America have shutters. They are so dated. Secondly, they cut down so much of your light Oh my gosh, look at these. You can lose like 40% of your light. So if you guys are up in some place that has shorter days, etc., in a northern latitude, forget shutters for sure. Cause you're gonna be scrapping for daylight at any point with these things. So lots better solutions out there. Plus they're super awkward. Look at that. If you open them, if you really wanna get daylight coming in, you have to fling them open. That's crazy. That's so awkward. And then they're hanging out in the room. How you doing? Shutters are just not a good solution and super dated. So let me show you what is. If you really want that look, you can actually create something similar with that with the wider slat blinds that I showed you earlier in the video. That can look and feel like shutters, but doesn't function as awkwardly as shutters do. Or there's one other option, but it's a little tricky and it requires a deep, deep, deep interior sill. Now, many of us here in the US and maybe Canada really don't have this, but we find this a lot in Europe and they do these exquisite, beautiful interior shutters that are solid, that have a little door that opens. Oh, these are beautiful and they feel very transitional and traditional, but they only work if you've got those deep, deep sills and then you're good to go with those. So number five, and I have saved the best for last, is macrame. Just don't do it. Really guys? There is nothing good about this. You cannot make this work anywhere. Don't do it. There's no solutions for it. Literally, if you need a window treatment, do anything else I've suggested in any of my other videos or the front of this video. Just don't do that. 
Now guys, I know designing for your style and honestly designing in general can be really tough. And that is why I've developed the Design Club. So you do not want to miss out, especially if you have projects coming up or something that you really want to make sure that you get right. You want to sign up at the Design Club with a Z dot com and get on that email list and we are opening super soon. So you want to make sure you're on that list today. What I want you to do right now is I want you to go here to this button and click this. This is the videos on the rest of the window treatment series that explains every window treatment you can ever think of. So just hit it right here, click, and I'll see you guys next week.